Hello, everyone. Welcome in and happy weekend. Um, I actually do have one announcement going in. There's going to be some more videos queuing up coming out on the channel starting next week. So look forward to those. Probably going to be a Thursday release on those. Um, if there's anything else that you guys want to see, um, whatever it is that's most popular among you guys, I will integrate the best that I can. So let's get into this weekend reading. Alrighty, Aries, welcome in. Let's get in to see what kind of weekend you have in store to kick off this reading today. Is it going to be a good weekend? Temperance, Card of Sag, Eight of Swords, Five of Wands, Page of Swords, Three of Swords, Lovers, King of Coins, Queen of Swords, Judgment. Okay, so we have Sag, Gemini, Taurus, Air Signs. Okay. Um, this looks to be a little bit of a, um, it still could be a good weekend, but it looks like there's uh, someone on the back of your mind. Okay, that didn't move toward you properly. Okay, that, that that's how it's coming across. Someone who didn't move toward you properly. They allowed them stuff to get caught. They, sorry. They allowed themselves to get caught up in their own BS. Okay. That's 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 what happened here. Um, but in spite of that, people have their eye on you. I say people. I say people. Okay. So there's still a broken heart at the center of this. Okay. There's still a broken, broken hearted Aries at the center of this. So be mindful about that. Um, don't be too cutting and reviewing new love. There is someone who is stable, <laughs> who is stable coming in. The more you heal, focus on your healing. Maybe that'll be the point of the weekend. Okay. I do see someone swiping on apps here, um, this weekend. Um, perhaps the focal point should be a little bit more on the healing part. Okay, because what this Queen of Wands is coming up as a little bit of uh, cynicism that needs to be tempered in order to invite something, you know, light and fluffy like romantic love. Okay, it looks like when you get to a certain point of healing, that's when the universe is going to kind of step in and push this King of Pentacles in your direction. Or, that's funny, or Dispatch. is Are they a cop? Dis dispatch. Like cop or a fireman kind of thing? Firefighter? They they use the word dispatch. So however that, it, it could mean nothing. Um, but that's interesting. If you're on apps, there's a lot of people looking at you. A lot of people messaging. Okay. But the clutching of the broken heart of trying to keep the pieces together kind of thing. You need to do some element of practice that glues the pieces together so you can let go. There needs to be some sort of practice there. Um, this person, this this Sag energy is going to try to resurface in some kind of way. Um, could be through kids sports. Through kids sports. Not necessarily, this necessarily doesn't need to be a fight with you. For someone, it's kids sports. Hmm. The universe is kind of waiting in the rafters to see how much you're going to help yourself here before it steps in to help you find the right person. This is, this, uh-huh, okay. This is, whatever you put up with before that made you this way into a queen of swords, whatever you put up with before that you may now have um, a boundary about, like, um, and it's a boundary that you find out that the standard for dating, is it, the bar is set low because of what you put up with before. This person holds themselves holds themselves to a high standard. They don't need you to. They they don't need you to. They're they're a they're a grown they're an adult. <laughs> they're a grown ass person. Okay. So you might have a list that that could be what's making you a bit cynical. You could have a list of boundaries, which show the level of immaturity of the previous person, that are that are basically laughable 
to this king of coins because it's like, yeah, of course, that goes without saying. Okay, so when when you hit a little bit, when you soften the broken heart a little bit more, this the universe is going to dispatch this king of coins in your direction. So focus on the healing a little bit more. Go ahead and keep swiping if you want to, but um, the healing is the key. Okay, good luck, you guys. All right, Taurus, let's get into it. Let's see if how your weekend is going to go. <sighs> okay. Is it going to be a good weekend for Taurus? Is it going to be a good weekend? Eight of Wands, Fool, Queen of Swords. You got the Queen of Swords too, just like Aries did. Six of Wands, Page of Wands. Three of Pentacles. Three of Wands. Queen of Pentacles, there you are too. Eight of Wands. So I feel like there's a, there's a silent build going on in the background. It's going to be a good weekend. Um, you feel really hopeful and consistent. There, there, there's a victory in store for you. It doesn't feel like it's a victory you can shout from the rooftops, though, for some reason. Like, you can do the victory dance in your kitchen. Okay? Um, but you can't emperor underneath that. Interesting. You're starting to stabilize in your physical world in a way where you're going to be able to make power moves and this is like the first of that okay there's something here where you had to take a significant it's coming across as a an intelligent a calculated risk okay in order to move your energy forward in a way that has a big impact on your life okay this is a, you get to start new somewhere, some, somehow, in a way that you don't get to, there's like one circle of people you get to celebrate it with, and there's one that you don't. Like, if you're trying to, like, say, move away from your family and move towards your friends, for example, you know you can't celebrate with the family, with the family, because they don't want you to go, for example, but your friends couldn't be happier that you're moving towards them. It's something like that. Um, and they are the ones cheering you on in the background or via text online, whatever, where your family doesn't see. Okay, just an, just an example of the dynamic here. This is going to be something that you're going to figure something out in how you, I mean, it, it looks like just making money, which is copacetic for us, right? <laughs> uh -huh. In a way where it's, you're going to hit your stride with it in a way that's really going to take off where you're going to see all kinds of things coming in on the horizon as you make this money right here. Um, you're going to be sitting pretty. You're going to be sitting pretty. You're going to be more excited for life in general. Big time. Big time. Your energy is going to expand in a way. And there's also... Um, for some reason, this needs to be emphasized. There's also a peacefulness to settle into your life that wasn't there before. For whatever reason. For whatever reason. Um, there's a lot of joy around this. It's like as you become more financially stable, there's the emotional release of, think of stuckness. Because as money comes in, it's like you, you see your independence. You see, okay, you see your freedom for someone. You see your freedom interesting this this is a good weekend guys this is a good weekend all because that you were practiced in what you chose to take a risk in it's like you knew what was the correct thing to go all in okay this circle of friends if it's friends this circle of friends is really excited to have you really excited to have you and you're really focused on executing this. You're just looking at the step in front of you. You're not looking at anything else. You're not letting anything distract you. That's it. You're not looking at any, letting anything distract you. Got it. When you're out of the situation is when someone else that you couldn't celebrate around finds out. Okay. 
if they get angry with you, so what? That's their problem. <laughs> they should have treated you better. All right. So go celebrate, dance on the kitchen floor, and have a good time. Yes, definitely celebrate the little wins. Bye, guys. All righty, Gemini. Welcome in. Let's dig in to see if you guys can have a good weekend. It's been an interesting weekend so far. Let's see if we can keep that going. Nine of Cups, Ace of Cups. Three of Pentacles. That is a good weekend. Look at that. Page of Wands, Eight of Wands, Seven of Wands. Page of Swords. Pentacles. Again, you are planning to return to a Queen of Pentacles in some kind of way. You are scheming this weekend. So is it a good weekend for you? Yes. It's 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 the calm before the storm. Okay. Um, you are currently mapping out. You are currently mapping out the plan. Your evil supervillain plan. Is it bad? No. It's just feels like a, a master mining session. <laughs> Because it feels like you're being very intricate and very methodical about all the possibilities of what could happen when you show up. You have been keeping an eye on them, and keeping an eye on them has given you a different perspective of them. Okay. Um, and they're doing just fine in life. There's, okay, there's, there's some of you who are surprised at how well they're doing, but not. But it's, it's like... You thought they'd stumble a little bit. No, no, she's not. This Queen of Coins really is not. I'm, I'm getting this person has done whatever work they need to liberate themselves. It's how it's coming across. Whether it's financially, mentally, emotionally, whatever. They have done the work to liberate themselves. Okay. And it looks like this weekend you are com you are composing the message to send to this person with the intent for a restart to start new or to start at all perhaps it had a false start before okay you would love nothing more than a real chance at this with that long-term happiness a possibility then that's the nine that's the nine and the ace that's ten of cups right there um Mm hmm yeah you are prepared for this to get blocked you're you're prepared for the pushback so you're bringing a gift ace of coins underneath that you're bringing a gift a big one that's a, that's a huge coin it's a huge you're going big interesting You've been thinking about this message on what to say for a long time, for as long as you've been watching. Okay. I'm glad that in watching this person has given you a new perspective on them. There's something that you witnessed with, with them or them doing or how they're being in life. Um, it, it feels like before perhaps you were... You had all of your walls up when coming into contact with this person. There's something in watching them without them knowing you're watching them has shown you a truth that you should not have been so defensive. You should have had all these walls up. There was nothing to fear here. This this was real. This was real. This was, okay. This was something that was supposed to be welcomed with open arms by you. Not defended against. Got it. Anything that you determined as the trigger to defend yourself against is a trigger for you to evaluate and heal before you move in this direction. Okay. In, in, because you have to show this person that something has changed. Okay. So get that message ready. It looks like you're going to execute that. This, hit the send button this weekend. Good luck, guys. 
Alrighty, Cancer, welcome in. Let's dig in to see what kind of weekend you guys are going to have. I've had some interesting ones so far. Let's see if that continues for you guys. Is it going to be a good weekend for Cancer, please? Two of Pentacles. Star. Card of Aquarius. Knight of Pentacles. Empress. Card of Taurus and Libra. Nine of Cups. Strength. Card of Leo. Five of Cups. Devil card of Capricorn. Temperance card of Sag. Okay. Um, the answer is no. <laughs> All because this is self-inflicted. So can you fix this? Yes. Yes. But as it stands right now, based off decisions made up until this point. No. So the reason is someone is moping about losing an Empress. That is, that is the, it's coming across as the dream girl, someone's dream girl, um, boy, whatever, but it's the empress. So I'm going to say girl for now. Um, there's something here where this, this cancer is understanding that they took way too long in order to make something happen with this person. And it resulted in the loss of this empress. Okay. So beating themselves up a little bit here, wondering is if there's anything that can be done. Not sure if it can be healed. Not sure if it just took too long. And that their window with this Empress has closed. Okay. Or not. So because of the worrying of should I, shouldn't I, you're allowing even more time to pass. Which is making it worse. <laughs> <laughs> which is making it worse. This feels like a feminine that... um that a lot of masculines are after. I'm not going to lie. But the Empress, Empress alone, but Empress next to the Nine of Cups, strength. This is giving like warrior Empress kind of vibes. Okay. Who had this this last week? Someone had that for their Zodiac sign. There's an Empress that's more of a warrior queen, like um, Wonder Woman's mother, Hippolyta, Queen of the Amazons. It's someone who's that level of feminine and strong because she's been through some shit. <laughs> Okay, so I understand why you would continue to think about someone like this, who is this level of value. I'm, I'm getting you really like their personality, their sense of humor. Outside of being attractive. She knows when it's time to have fun and she knows when it's time to be serious. Right. Very serious. Okay. <laughs> so you've seen her be very serious. Got it. Okay. So you're not sure what to do to the point where it's slowing down your progress across the board because this has gotten you, this has gotten you thrown this weekend. Not sure what to do. 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 You're letting this fester in a way that's not good for you. You either make a plan and take a shot or a fold. You got it. This, this, you can't let this take over your whole weekend. You, you, you can't, you cannot. Okay. I'm getting that someone has a brother that's good at giving advice. Um, talk to him, call, text, whatever this weekend in case you need to strategize with someone else's soundboard. It's someone who has a brother that gives good advice. Um, I get that you're, I get that you're sad that she's gone, but it's like, this is something where you could fix this. You could fix this. It's, it's one of those, it's that, it's that decision you got to make. Do you want to risk being rejected or do you want to never know what could have been? This is the decision that is going to be on your plate this weekend. So go talk to your brother for those who has a brother that gives good advice. Um, if not, it's time to pull the trigger on a decision. This cannot keep wearing on your mind. This is taking up too much space without this person being physically in your life. Okay. Good luck, guys. Hello, Leo. Welcome in. Let's dig in to see what sort of weekend you guys are going to have. We'll continue with the yes and no spread. 
let's see where we go. Is it going to be a good weekend for Leo? Good weekend. Ooh, yes, Page of Cups, Magician, Lovers, Card of Gemini, Ace of Coins, Eight of Cups, Five of Cups. The King of Swords, that's Aquarian Energy. Temperance, Card of Sag, Ten of Cups. You are recovering a lost love, or at least you're recovering communication with a lost love. So yes, good weekend, very good weekend. This is something you manifested for yourself. You laid the groundwork for it. You may actually be taking a physical gift um, should you further to meet in person. This is something you've waited a long time for the opportunity to recover. Okay. Um, you were systematic in your approach. You're very smart in your strategy. In what to say, what not to say, um, in order to appeal to this lover in such a way where they would receive you well. Congratulations. Congratulations. Because hmm. I'm getting that previously this was a connection that wasn't made real. It was. It didn't have the Ace of Coins last time, but now you're leading with that this time. May even be leading with an apology this time, um, because you want you want to secure this to where it's just undeniable that this is a win across the board. So you've been thinking of every avenue, every corner of conversation, every possible response, and how to counter that or how to rebuttal. Okay, in, in a way that pays off for reestablishing the connection. It's interesting. You've waited a long time to be this happy. You have waited a long time to be this happy. You've really thought about your words. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because the, the magician in this deck looks a little bit sinister because he, he's got like a tail and stuff. <laughs> but it's 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 more of a, it's more coming across as a cleverness. Like I finally know exactly what to say to this person. To this person that I miss, this person that we work so well together. There's something about partnership with this person that's seamless. Got it. Undeniable. Okay. Um, in reestablishing this connection, it's not just coming with ace coins. It's also kind of like turning on, it's showing us turning on a faucet of generosity to this person, toward this person, because this didn't get to fortify in the real world before. This feels very much like that soul bond energy that you meet each other and you know, but not both of you choose it. So it never gets to be real. That happens way more often than not, unfortunately. But yes. Um, you did a lot of back and forth in order to not just understand what you were going to say and do, but on the decision of if you're going to do anything or not. That's what held you up the longest. So now, message is dispatched this weekend towards a lover to manifest a new beginning to be made real. Okay. To put to sleep some old wounds and to carry forward into a Ten of Cups. Good luck, you guys. Hello, Virgo. Let's get in to see what sort of weekend is in store for you. Lots of interesting answers so far. Let's continue to use the yes and no spread. Show me what kind of weekend is Virgo going to have a good weekend. Wise one, card of Hierophant, that's Taurus energy, Knight of Coins, Queen of Swords, ooh, Crossroads, okay, let's see, Lovers, card of Gemini, Queen of Coins, Three of Swords, 
Hermit, card of Virgo. There you are, showing up with your spread. Six of Cups. High Priestess. Okay, it doesn't feel the best, but it is a good weekend. <laughs> Let me explain. So, what's happening here... You are in contemplation about a soul bond to which you are not speaking to each other. See, High Priestess and Hermit, they don't talk. <laughs> they don't talk. They are silent. Silent wisdom here. Okay, silent wisdom here. You are, it's coming across as reevaluating because you're not talking. You're not, it's, you're not in each other's lives. You're not turned towards each other here. Um, you are reevaluating what connection, what what committed connection would been what blah wow why can't i talk you're reevaluating what committed connection would have been like with this bond getting a bit of an age gap here for somebody okay the knight and the queen um getting a bit of an age gap there um there's something there where this queen of coins was not viewed correctly you may have viewed them as a knight of coins. They were actually a queen of coins. Okay. A heartbroken one at that as a result of the disconnect here because it's showing me that this lover's connection was not chosen. Leo's reading ha had a little bit of that. So if you have Leo in your chart, check those out. So strong reevaluating, very much a cerebral weekend. This isn't showing me anything that's going on in your outer world. This weekend is all about your inner world. Okay, um, and there's deep contemplation here about shoulda, coulda, woulda on something that didn't get to go full throttle. Was it legit? Oh, yeah. Oh, it was legit. Absolutely. And perhaps that's understood after the fact. Um, I'm getting that there's a, there was fear in meeting this person, as soon into meeting this person, because of the level of connection and because it didn't look cookie cutter correct, whatever that means to you, um, like it, it didn't got it. How it showed up and who it showed up with made you uncomfortable because you would got it. You would have to expand in order to accommodate it. Expand or change. You would you would have to expand or change to accommodate it. But that was part of the lesson intended. We all have to grow. We all have to evolve. It really is the point of life to grow and evolve. That, that's really it. So to push something away that would have, that inspired that, that required that, okay, was in fact the trigger for you. They know this. It looks like now you know this. Okay. Trying to dial in what you're um, contemplating as the commitment. So if you have done, okay, got it. If you, if you have done no soul evolution since the disconnect of this connection, you're not going to be able to properly or accurately, thank you, uh, fantasize about what connection with this person would be like. You're not going to be able to. If you haven't changed or expanded, you're not going to be able to see this correctly. You're not going to be able to fantasize about it correctly. Okay. Um, I, I don't know what purpose you believe that's going to serve, but you're having a very cerebral experience this weekend. And hopefully this inspires some expansion or change so you could view this person properly. Whether you want to go back to this person, it's not showing me. It's just showing me that you are very much in your mind this weekend. So, good luck resolving it, guys. Alrighty, Libras, welcome in. Thank you for joining me here at your weekend reading. Let's get started to see if it's going to be a good weekend. For Libra, please. Knight of Cups trying to fall out there. Four of Coins, Page of Wands, Knight of Cups, they really did want to come out. Seven of Wands, Chariot Card of Cancer, Three of Coins, The Star, Card of Aquarius, Five of Wands, King of Cups, Scorpio Energy. Feels like you are doing a, um, 
it feels like a challenge of a weekend. Okay. Um, it feels like you're, you're battling your way out of one situation. Like for example, like you could be battling your way from one company to move to, to start a new job at another. And it's been quite the uphill challenge, but at the same time, simultaneously, your heart is ready for new connection. So it's like these two opposing ideas, not really opposing, but they don't really go together. Right. Um, so there's a little bit of dealing with that. Okay. Um, this is your signal. If you are holding up your energy of moving on from some, the, the thing that you're supposed to be moving on from because of the challenge that it is to move on from any resistance that you have, you need to have a coming to Jesus conversation with yourself. Even if you have to stand and talk in the mirror at yourself and feel like you're going a little bit crazy and have some self-talk about what it is that you're allowing to block you from moving on, moving forward a bit more freely it has something to do with the truth of your heart space. I know that sounds cliche, but there it is. <laughs> I know it sounds cliche. I do know. Hmm. But you are, there's, there's so much excitement to come. Okay. Um, let go of all the fears that you can, all of them, if you can. Okay. Cause there, there's excitement. Your, your heart is expanding. Your, your heart is expanding as you see more and more freedom from the thing that you're struggling to get yourself out of your energy will expand more and more. Your, your heart openness will expand more and more. So even if it's one step at a time, one step a day, just take that forward step because the more the resistance melts away, the faster you'll go to restarting over to starting new elsewhere. You've been hoping and praying for this. Specifically, it's okay. It's coming up as I've, I've been praying for a way out. I've been praying for a way out. And the way out is through the heart, believe it or not. There's something there, okay, um, that needs to be assessed. Truth of the heart space of why you want to leave giving yourself permission to leave. Like if you feel guilty about leaving, giving yourself permission to leave, releasing the resistance, giving yourself permission to go. Because if there's contradiction between the mind and the body, the, the body won't move. Okay. You, you, it's gotta be copacetic in the mind. Okay. I can go. Cause you can, you, 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 you can go. There's, there's already new waiting for you. There's already new ahead on the path. Something that is far more emotionally fulfilling and exciting. It keeps coming up as exciting and fulfilling. Okay. Well that, then that's even better. <laughs> that's even better. Because I, I feel like you're fighting in a situation where you're the only one that's different. See how there's the one guy that's blue? Everybody else is the same. I feel like there's... It's the difference that you you need to utilize to allow others in this situation to see a different perspective. And also allow that difference to carry you out of this situation. Okay. So... I hope that gives you some motivation to hustle because more good stuff is waiting for you guys. Good luck this weekend. Alrighty, Scorpio, welcome in. Let's dig in to see what kind of weekend is ahead. Good one, good one, bad one, somewhere in between. Been interesting answers so far. Let's see, Scorpio going to have a good weekend. Nine of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. Magician, Ace of Wands, Eight of Swords, King of Cups, there you are, Knight of Cups, King of Pentacles, Taurus Energy, The World, ooh, this is feeling similar to Virgo's weekend. So it's, it, there, there's some good and there's some bad, let's get into it. 
um, the bad is the any of the um, internal monologue that's slowing you down. You wish to go towards someone, a King of Pentacles, Taurus energy, um, fixed energy there with the world. Um, you wish to return to a King of Pentacles where things ended, like, and they ended in a big way. <laughs> they ended in a big way. It has, there's been some anxiety here, some sleepless nights, okay, that has slowed down your progress of manifesting this situation or manifesting this new beginning in this situation, okay? You might try to... Like, for example, if the two of you were ever co-workers or work together or anything, you might try to offer them new contract. Okay. There's... Oh, you're underneath there. I don't... It keeps coming across as, I don't know how, I don't know how, I don't know how. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You know how to reconnect here with this with this person you do know how it's just it's going to require parts of you that you don't normally show people okay um it's gonna require a this is coming across as scorpio masculine energy as more of um i'm getting like someone with like the ego of a c-sweeter like a ceo um cto something like that um someone very much large and in charge sort of energy um, because this doesn't require your career power to secure, for example. This requires something that you don't normally do or that you don't do at all, okay? Um, this is coming across as, um, a Scorpio energy that, that even if you explored the depths of your waters, you would never show it to anybody else. There's something there that's extremely guarded. That is extremely guarded. Um, I'm going to let you know. It, it wouldn't phase this King of Pentacles. <laughs> There's something about what they've gone through. This, this is telling me a lot. Um, they Nothing surprises them anymore. Is what I'm getting here. Nothing surprises them anymore. So if you, like, turn around and said, um, um, you know, I, I lost, you know, my first true love of my life to cancer, and then I, this happened, and then I was in a car accident, and then da 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 da, da. They'd be like, yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> there's, it's like, there's actually more in common there, or more understanding there than you would ever realize without ever reconnecting with this person. You're making decisions about reconnecting based on information you don't actually know. Okay. You got to lead with the heart here, not the wand. If you want this to come together the way that you want it to, you got to lead with your waters. And I understand that's new, but um, that's where you have the real shot. So, good luck, guys. Alrighty, Sagittarius, welcome in. Let's dig in to see if you guys are going to have a good weekend. Everyone has been a little bit all over the place. Oop, chariot tried to fall out. <clears throat> so, let's see where you guys fall on the spectrum here. Sagittarius is going to have a good weekend. Knight of Coins, Eight of Coins. Eight of Wands, Wheel, Hermit, Card of Virgo, Nine of Coins, Six of Wands, Two of Cups, Two of Wands. I'm only saying that it's not going to be a good weekend because it's going to be quieter than you want it to be. Is it actually a good weekend for you? Yes. <clears throat> There's a slow realization here, slow start to a powerful realization, okay, about the fruits that are the result of the seeds that we plant. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, 
this is basically the realization someone is having that how they've been doing things the same way over and over and over isn't working. It's finally clicking that it isn't working. Okay. Because we've talked about in a couple of readings this last week, the seven of coins to the eight of coins, the seven of coins being the time to plant the new seeds, the eight of coins reaping the fruits of those seeds and asking yourself if the fruits are good from what we've cultivated. But if you've been doing it the same over and over and over and wondering why the fruits are bad, but you still continue to plant the same thing, that's a definition of insanity, right? So now that clarity is hitting you. And with that comes change, discoveries, moving into your singular energy a bit more grounded. Okay? Because it's in seeing these that we can then change them. In recognizing these things that we can then change them. We ch and we change them by changing ourselves. Okay? There seems to be <clears throat> a soul bond that you wish to revisit. It's coming across as an old two of cups. Okay. Um, if you think that just realizing this is enough to reconnect with this person, that it, that's, that's not correct. That's not correct. The change has to be implemented first. And if you just realize this today, and then you go want to go talk to this person tomorrow, mm -mm, you have to implement these changes in all other areas of your life to show this person, look, see, I changed it in all the other areas and my life has improved. Everyone I deal with is happier. I'm happier, more fulfilled, etc. Now I know I can apply this with you to this old, old two of cups. And I know I'll probably have the same result. What do you say we give it a try? Okay. And there's something here where when you offer this to this person, you're a bit more emotionally detached from their decision. Because now you understand that it really is their decision and it may ha and what they decide may have nothing to do with you. Okay. So for if if for example, if they reject the connection, for example, it's not going to break, cut you off at the knees like it would have before. Because you're gonna understand they have their reasons. I presented them, them with the evidence of change. For whatever reason, it's not correct for them. Or it might be. But you need to give yourself not the amount of time it took you to realize this, to then implement. Implement and then rinse and repeat and rinse and repeat and rinse and repeat. Get out all the kinks. So you have your life running like a well-oiled machine. Come to this person. Okay, because you need to stack the evidence in your favor that this indeed works. I have indeed changed and I want to be with you. Two of Cups. Okay, good luck, guys. Hello, Capricorn. Welcome in. Let's dig in to see if you guys are going to have a good weekend. It's been a lot of learning for the signs this week so far. Let's see if we have more of that coming. Capricorn going to have a good weekend. Two of coins, six of wands, queen of cups. Ooh, okay. Uh, wise one, that's the hermit, not the hermit, um, hierophant, card of Taurus, king of wands, Leo energy, queen of swords. Oh, oh, okay. It fell, the wheel fell out. Page of wands. Well, ooh, this is a good weekend. May not feel like one, but it's a good one. <laughs> It's a good one. But there's something here where you have been back and forth about choosing. This feels like someone who has been slow to choose what truly they know in their heart is best for them. Because it would come off as, or at least you believe, it would come across as selfish, prideful even, um, when you're supposed to choose what's correct for you. Okay, so this is this is winning that inner battle of not making a choice because you don't want to seem a certain way, come across a certain way. 
when you actually do need to make a, the choice that is best for yourself and commit to this decision. This is the key point here. The key point, because if you have been stagnant in your manifestation in a situation, because even though you're like, oh yeah, I need to go do this, but you haven't given yourself permission. Who else had a thing like that? It might've been Libra. It might've been Libra. If you don't give yourself permission to do it, you're really, even though you're like, oh yeah, I need to go do this, but you really haven't given yourself full permission. There's going to be stagnancy in the execution. Okay. The moment you see this plain as day, that this is what's required of you in order for the universe to help you manifest the thing that you want. Okay. That's when the universe turns the wheel and exciting things start to happen. And the cycle could finally close. Fixed sign for those keeping track. So Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. You're going to be really excited when this changes. You're going to be really super excited when this changes. So whatever is challenging for you to fully choose this with your whole heart and mind, whole heart and mind, got to be an agreement here or the body won't move. Okay. Um, that's when the wheel will start to turn. Whatever it is that needs to be said, whether to yourself or to others in this situation, to establish the finality of what needs to happen, um, needs to be said, needs to be done, um, in order for any stagnation to be released so this can turn faster. You have to commit. You have to commit to your truth, commit to your conviction. That's the whole lesson. It's not even about your physical world this weekend. This is about the balance of the mind and the heart. Okay. The balance of the mind and the heart. Because I'm getting that if you make this decision fully, you, you may end up feeling bad. It's not about you feeling bad. You have to ask yourself why you feel bad. Why do you feel bad to make a decision for yourself that's best for you? Because others won't like it? Well, well, we're all adults here. Not everybody's going to like every decision you make. They're just not. Okay. So leaving yourself in limbo hurts you. It benefits others, but it hurts you. And it's your life that you're living here. Okay. So this weekend is understanding I need to make the best decisions for me in order to move forward in life the way that I wish to move forward and leave behind that which I need to. All right. Good luck, guys. Alrighty, Aquarius, welcome in. Thanks for joining me for your weekend reading. Let's see how it's going to go for you this weekend. Is it going to be a good weekend for Aquarius? It's going to be a good weekend. So it seems to have been a lot of yeses, but with challenges. So let's see where we go. Eight of Wands, Seven of Wands, Hermit's Card of Virgo, Knight of Swords, King of Wands, Leo Energy, Knight of Cups. Interesting. Six of Cups, Temperance Card of Sag, Sun, Card of Leo. It's going to be a very interesting weekend for you. <laughs> Mm. So, you have a path to clear. You have to clear your path, basically. Okay. Um, there's something here that's coming in that over the course of the weekend that has to do with um, realizing what it is that you're resisting to discover. Okay. Um, there's communication that wants to come in. It's for someone. It's coming like as uh, from your higher self. Okay. This is something that, because you have two knights headed straight, for, you're coming in as the king of wands here. Um, there's people who want to access you. There are people who want to get to know you. There are people who want to be in your sphere, in your world, um, that are going to actually project you toward something really happy and beautiful. That's going to take a little bit of time to build. Um, but there's a realization here that you need to embrace first for this to be successful. 
Okay. And it's literally showing up as something between the mind and the heart. Okay. Cause you got your Knight of Cups here, your Knight of Swords here, your air and your water. Okay. There's a realization that is meant this, these arrows, these arrows are meant to land. Okay. And this is the resistance to those arrows. Okay. There's a discovery here, an inner discovery here about something between the mind and the heart for you. This has been a long time lesson coming. And there's something about how this is going to come in now over the course of the weekend that is going to be undeniable. You're not going to be able to resist it. You're not going to be able to resist it anymore. Because you see how the mallet there is trying to block the sun to illuminate. The sun, the sun again, these aren't blocked anymore. Okay. They're not blocked anymore. Okay. Happier times are meant to rush in ahead. Okay. And soon. It'd be a Sag Leo soul bond in the near future for you. Um, but there's something specifically about the mind and that there's, hmm, mm -hmm. something about the intensity of the mind versus the, okay. Versus the depth of the heart. You can't, you can't let the mind overpower the heart. It's, you're supposed to let them work in tandem ebb and flow, the power to ebb and flow between them, right? You filter everything through the mind first, and then if it's safe, then you allow the heart in, right? Um, that's usually the default. Because if you allow the heart first, you get attached first without vetting someone properly with the mind, with questions, right? Um, so there's something there where there's, where the mind is almost pummeling <laughs> the heart, but there's something that needs to be realized about the depth of the heart that will illuminate some sort of inner knowledge that will help you put you on the path to this soul bond. This is quite the soulmate. Quite the soulmate. Hmm. This person really has their shit together is how it's coming across. <laughs> so you are being signaled. If you, especially if you start seeing more birds lately coming up, that they're trying to bring a message. You have to be open to the message. You could even, next time you see a bird, you could turn in its direction and say, okay, I'm open to the message to receive and see what your guides bring you. Okay. Because what's coming in is really beautiful. And I hope that you are open to it in time. All right. Good luck, guys. All righty, Pisces. Welcome in. Let's dig in to see if it's going to be a good weekend. Everyone else has been pretty much all over the place in that answer. A lot of yeses, though. A lot of yeses. That's good. So let's see if Pisces will have a good weekend. Nine of Cups, the Fool. Seven of Cups, Ten of Wands. Ooh, this is a great weekend. Ace of Wands, Ace of Coins. Empress world king of wands okay let's see we have leo taurus leo scorpio aquarius taurus and libra for those keeping track so there's a lot of signs in three cards um this is a great weekend this is a great weekend you are doing what it is you're, you're starting to delve into the great work meaning the great work on yourself okay you're taking a risk in a new direction, multiple new directions here, um, <clears throat> planting new seeds, taking the risk. It's something that's, it's work that's going to be quite challenging. You're going to learn a lot of new stuff about yourself, about what you find exciting, about what you want to actually have in your real world experience. And that also has to do with who. This is an empress that connection was ended with that you wish to return to. Doesn't this, it could be an actual ex, ex-wife, ex-girlfriend, ex-something. Um, for someone I'm getting, this feminine was an empress before you met her. She had already excelled to that level in her soul evolution or borderline or has achieved it 
regardless of being in relationship or not. That's a fierce feminine, my dude. <laughs> it really is. It really is. So you are preparing yourself. It's You're showing me what you want. It is your wish. It is your wish to rebuild yourself. Okay. To plant new for a new cycle. To take the risk. To take the risk of doing... Okay, to take the risk of doing it all yourself. So if you're a masculine energy that's always committed, you are now single and you are now taking all of this on yourself. So your life looks how you want it to look. Okay, and that's great. And that's that's fantastic. That's fantastic. You're doing it all yourself without always having to be attached to somebody. This is great. Is it going to be tough? Yes. You will go a whole cycle in this experience of planting new seeds by yourself and learning about yourself. Then you will start a new one. You will be so excited to start this new one because you're going to head in her direction with this Ace of Coins, Ace of Wands. Okay. Um, excited to share what you've been through, what's been going on. I'm hearing catching up. Okay, so uh, hopefully this feminine will be open enough to that because it looks like this closed in a big way before. In a big, big way. I'm hearing that she loved you. She did. Mm -hmm. There, uh huh. Well, that's good. There's, there's a strong desire for you to give to her generously. Generously, uh, a lot has been learned. <laughs> a lot has been learned. There's something between because ten of wands. That's the end of the cycle. Ace of wands. That's the beginning of a new one. There's something where you come out of this far more inspired than you've ever been in your life. Okay. There's something here that has revitalized you in such a way where you view life differently. I'm hearing in a way that gives you hope, which is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So you're on the journey. You're planting new seeds. You're going head to head with the challenges. And soon you're going to be headed in the direction of an empress that you really are excited to see. Wow. Good luck, guys. <laughs>